Hello everybody, that is here, very happy to see all of you on the other side of the screen. Today we'll make a little fun project of cleaning a very old PC. This is, uh, at some point, was my gaming computer, not exactly this one, but the motherboard, which is X58, quite an old one. And um, after I decommissioned this uh, system, it was lying around for a bit and then we converted into a print server for our 3D printing needs. That system was in use for seven years. The liquid that we used at that time was a Mayhem Nuke Blue and there was zero maintenance. So it was just working and working and working and we just decided, you know, something happened, just rush it and no problem, we have DDC pump that never failed, uh, system never clogged, also you can see it badly stained and quite um, bluish everywhere. You can see that um, we have quite a bit of deposits on the tubing, uh, the reservoir pretty tinted and um, yeah, but the overall it works perfectly fine. Um, also what the product I was going to use is um, something that Alpha Cool released recently, it's a uh, uh, loop cleaner. I have one bottle that uh, failed uh, its seal in a transit and it's leaked, so you can see it's uh, quite a bit not in a very sellable condition. So I will just use this liquid to try to see what we can do to clean this computer and will, if it will make any difference. I don't think I will be reusing my parts, but Nevertheless, why not to try to do it? So I'm going to drain the system. I will flash it as much as I can with just a regular uh, distilled water or even tap water at this point, doesn't really matter. And um, then we will mix this solution. It should run about 30 minutes and then you clean and flush it again and we'll see what kind of difference it will make of my dogs somewhere but too far to show you anyways so that's what we're going to do i'm not going to film the whole process it's just because i'm a little bit cramped position but i will show you result uh, or like the progress a little little snippets of my progress so let's start draining the system out and we'll see what kind of uh, stuff we get oh Heidi, come here Look, I promise you I will show you at some point. And this is my oh way my runner dog. Yeah. So look, who's that? Alrighty. So let's start working and see what we get out of this project. Voila! Fully drained and flushed. It actually much less dirty than I expected. The liquid was quite dark blue. I think it became darker than it was originally was seven years ago. But after drainage, you see the tubing actually not as bad. Also, this one is disturbed, and um, this piece not disturbed. You can see all the deposits still on the wall of the tube as well as here. And uh, but the reservoir itself. Uh, has much less stuff on acrylics than I would expect it. Um, one funny thing is that compression fitting so molded into the tubing, it was no way I can do it with uh, my hands and uh, I have actually to use two sets of pliers <laughs> to open this compression fitting so I had to drain the system. Unfortunately it has no draining port so it was quite a bit of the pain to do so and it's um, you have everything gets spilled all over the place but yeah that's not supposed to be a showcase build it was strictly internal uh, system we actually use for work anyways so that's where we are now I'm going to mix my liquid fill it up and uh, we give it a run for 30 minutes and see what happened well that literally took me another five minutes to finish it up uh, still a little bit of bubbles, but I don't think I really need to uh, make it perfectly 
bleeded system and for purpose of cleaning it uh, will work just fine so I will uh, what's now three o'clock so I give it to run for till 330 and see what's happened I already see that the uh, liquid turned into a little bit of greenish bluish hue uh, which normally uh, not happens that fast and uh, it's not because there's some liquid left in the system which is probably this but I what you haven't seen I actually put it in a tub and I run tap water through the system every five minutes so I really flush color truly well so there's not much left after I did so and then I put solution in uh, skipping distilled water part which if it would be a real system that's going to be reused I probably wouldn't but in, in this particular situation it doesn't matter oh, I see a little bit spill here on my GPU We'll, we'll dry it up so anyways so as you see a little bit bubble still still going on but uh, so I think solution works to some degree because uh, as I said that the color come up pretty quickly a lot of uh, particles floating I don't know is it from the tubing probably from the radiator but uh, yeah I definitely do some cleaning so the plan is run 30 minutes I'll drain it and we'll look how it looks uh, after a cleaning process and I start disassembling the system because I don't need it I might reuse GPU in a test bench but the rest is basically going to charity or whatever so and uh, we can open up this uh, bits power CPU block and see what's happened with it after seven years of continuous use without liquid change we're currently 25 minutes in bubbles mostly settled but liquid is very much oxidized copper green so in the beginning it had a little bit of blue tint but now it's pure copper color so oxidized copper color so it's interesting seems uh, it's washed out certain amount of sediments but we'll know better when the system will be completely drained and can look inside and definitely we're going to give it a good wash because um, solution is slightly acidic all right so let's uh, give it another five minutes and then start draining all right the system disassembled flashed and now in pieces let's open gpu block and look what's inside Well, the fact that this will be clean inside, or maybe not, but if it will, it could be a testament to clear liquid as well. Because, um, yeah, usually when you use some sort of opaque liquid, some sort of sediments always fall out in the dead zones. With clear liquids, should be no problem unless you have some other sources of contamination like radiators or tubing some my leach some stuff this is the beautiful block old models was a little bit more interesting than now it's pretty much square square RGB RGB that's what we have so I think it's purely decorative so it shouldn't be a problem Okay, let's see. Maybe it's not. Doesn't take any chances here. Well, no, it goes through. Oops. Okay. Here we go. A little bit of stuff left. Definitely no color whatsoever. little bit things yeah easily everything can be easily cleaned with tooth brush or some other mechanical but I don't see any damage to plating 
Anything like this? Yeah. This would be easy to clean. Then microfins, I use a water pick, which is a, basically a dental hygiene item, which you use to flush your gums, and uh, it works really well on microfins. All good to go for GP block. Just making sure I didn't bust at any o rings because I don't have any spare. And now we can look into the mobo. I see through the holes in, in motherboard blocks itself that it's very clean, which is a good thing. I don't think I'll bother to open those blocks because I'm not even sure if I'm going to use this board. But we take out this Bits power block and look inside there. I see a little bit of stuff on acrylic already, but it looks like approximately the same amount as we had in GPU, so I don't expect any miracles. But nevertheless, let's have a look. Oh, those things get stuck after almost 10 years usage. Mm. A little bit more stuff than inside GPU. So solution didn't completely dissolve um, whatever junk materials that accumulated here. Basically, if you're into serious cleaning mode, you probably still have to open old blocks and do old good cleaning with a toothbrush and uh, uh, just mechanical removal of the junk. But what I like is that the color was completely bleached out. So I had a blue liquid for many years and uh, things supposed to be completely stained but this is was bleached to white condition so which means that theoretically if you want to switch liquid this uh, cleaning solution from alpha cool not so bad I really like it uh, maybe we need to check what's going on with the reservoir as well just to see what's happening with plastic also we can see it here on the top yeah. All gunk is very softened. I don't know is it <laughs> because of the cleaning solution or something else, but yeah, it's easy, e very easy to clean. You just open up and uh, physically removed. And after that, it will be sparkling clean, clean just as my GPU block that I just assembled back. I see pressure is holding, so I can put it back on a GPU card. Also wanted to share with you, not related to the cleaning, to take this wet stuff away, but just to show you that um, interesting different thermal pods. This original heat killer pods, they kind of a little bit dry out. And uh, this was something else. I don't even remember what it was, but uh, a different type, more like uh, silicone based. Um, those ones seems fair, a little bit better than the other ones. Probably will replace it just to be thorough. Also, it wouldn't make much difference. All right, just decided to show you another close up. I, I washed parts just with running water, no like um, toothbrush or anything, and all the solution stuff clean up pretty well. So you can see I still 
probably can wipe it a little bit if I want but realistically it's, it's very close to be very clean just without mechanical cleaning and this is a plastic reservoir tube so you can see a little bit here left but overall pretty damn clean for such an old part I'm kind of impressed not bad alright guys while I was assembling this beautiful black hole edition hit killer block back in place I had some train of thought so to speak so I would like just to use that as a, my conclusion well this is the first time when I use this kind of product for all those years I always managed to clean my loops either with a good flush sometimes with the running top water and then flushing properly a few times with distilled sometimes doing full disassembly and never use chemicals and uh, also always thinking that it's a little bit of a fear product which uh, capitalize of people being unsure about themselves so we need to need to clean but uh, after trying this one I see a couple benefits uh, one of them is that it seems that the score loop cleaner first of all it definitely bleached all color out of my loop which is nice because I usually never try I always try not to change the color of my coolant even if I feel like it because color always keep bleaching out of radiators and other parts but this one it seems completely kill the color so it was no blue left which is a good thing second thing that um, after you flush your loop with uh, just distilled water many times and it's look clean um, residue which uh, like sediment inside of your blocks uh, it's usually a little bit uh, still hardened so it's a little bit hard to clean it and you have to use like physical force like toothbrush something like this to get rid of it um, again core one what I see the difference is that it's actually softened all the sediment and I literally washed it completely with just the running water which, which makes the process simple including microfins so the microfins inside of for example this Beats Power CPU block uh, was quite clogged but I just shower them with, uh, with a stream of water and they all became clean which is was pretty impressive and uh, look uh, without even any mechanical work this reservoir looks pretty clean as well so obviously it could be better if we clean it which I can and it's probably better to do it with uh, some liquid because it just keeps smudging but again the make process much easier so I think that especially in a situation where have, you have like a really bad gunk in your system which would be hard to remove even like for physical methods that will help for sure overall I think that unfortunately we cannot say how bad my loop was I don't think it was too bad even after very long usage but clear cool coolants they don't create problems and that's why I personally stick to clear coolants never use any of this opaque crap so uh, yeah so that's my thoughts about that everybody decide for their own if they want to use it but uh, you see nothing happened I didn't destroy my plating on both uh, blocks bits power and heat killer so which is a good thing and uh, it's actually helped to clean the loop in a nice way that's all I have for today thank you very much and see you soon with the next video.